What's up friends? Welcome or welcome back to 9 and 3 quarters. It's Carissa here and I'm bringing you guys an unboxing video of this wizarding trunk potions class box. I don't know why I just totally spaced out on what it is but this is amazing guys. This is the first time I'm seeing a decorative wizarding trunk box. Yep it's decorative and I mean by decorative what I mean by decorative is that it's got print on it and it's not just a typical brown box. Normally when we see the wizarding trunk box at least the last one that I've gotten was just a plain brown box with wording on it but this time it's printed. It's it looks like a trunk like the typical schooling trunk that we usually get you know and um not usually get but you know like a school trunk and this is the owlery here and this says up to no good so i'm i'm assuming somewhere on this box it says i solemnly swear um i'm not sure what that says if that says ron or something like that what does that say i can't tell what that says guys Anyways, we'll move on to the side. Of course, it says a fragile magical delivery. Oh my gosh, it, this must be Ron's trunk because it says LB Heart RW, which is Lavender Brown Heart Ron Weasley. And then, of course, you have the Wizard um, Wittershins Joke Shop, which is the their spin on the Wizard Weasley's, the Weasley Joke Shop, right? And then back here, we have the Wizarding Trunk information, which they have their um, little at sign symbol for their Instagram and their Facebook. Go ahead and follow them. They're amazing. Um, and then, of course, on this side, we have first class owl post. Oh, here it says, I shall not tell lies, which, of course, we can't have it exactly verbatim as I'm sorry, totally can't see that as the movie. And then here we have a vial in Kentum amazing and back here yeah i love it you guys so definitely looks like a school trunk back here it's just aged and damaging looking like how a school trunk would be and yes you guys i'm super stoked to dig into this box um so stoked so let's dive in shall we um now I have my handy dandy Bellatrix knife here. I also have my wand, so with the power of magic, I'm going to Alohamora. Okay, now, yes, this seal is now open. Ta da! Okay, we're gonna open it. And inside, this is a white, clean box, so. Um, this is what it looks like when you open it and I'm just gonna go ahead and move this top part with the speediness of editing so that we don't have we have a nice clear view for you guys okay be right back okay guys so here we are and I'm just gonna start with the very first item that I see and right here we have what looks like to be a t-shirt and it looks like a nice olive green it's very thin very soft so we're gonna go ahead and open this up and see what this is oh my gosh I already love it it says potions club guys this is so cute I love it okay I'm gonna open it up on this section first so you guys can see it and then i'll pop it up on this view so you guys can see it here as well but potions club it's so cute just look at the detail i love it amortentia i can't tell what the other potions are um but there are no like wordings on here i guess to um protect you know the trademarking and then the front part has a little sigil here as well that says potions club and it's plain but here let me show you guys in this view i love it this is the front guys and then the back so cute which i think my view is probably mirrored so hopefully i can fix that but super cute super soft nice and thin i love it so much guys okay I'm gonna go ahead and fold this. Okay, let's go ahead and take out this bag right here. What is it? This looks like a potion that we can actually use, you guys. This is mixture number 70, armadillo bile. Wow, 
gross. Number 682, Orange Blossom Squeezable Wax Melt. Wow. So I'm not really sure how this works or what it exactly does. I'm trying to see if I can smell it. I don't think I can smell anything. It does smell like orange, guys. I'm really curious what it is. It says wax melt, so I'm not sure if it's actually like wax um, or what it is. I'm going to have to look for the little cheat sheet to tell us exactly what it is. But it's a plastic bottle that is black. And I love the little details that they put into this. Very nice. Okay guys, so this is the armadillo vial. So, really cool. I love that a lot. Let's take a look at what else we have here. Okay guys, let's move this bottle out of the way so we can get into the box more. Um, starting off with this, this looks like a pin, guys. This looks like a pin. Okay, so soaked. I'm just gonna rip into this. Oh my gosh, it's a potions pin. Okay, let me show this view first. Oh, I totally shook the camera. It's a purple pin that is a potion pin. And it looks like this, guys. Super awesome pin. Look at the details on it. Absolutely incredible. And it looks like it just says living death oh this is draught of living death guys so cool it's purple it has a little skull on it i absolutely love love the detailing they are excellent at making pins super awesome so getting all the different views here so that we can give you the best looking video oh we have another thing here that looks really awesome also this looks like a key. Guys, this looks super cool. If I can open it. Okay, what is this? It looks like a key. It says PS. And it has like a pizza. It's a key. I don't know what it is. But let me show you. Really cool. I think this view is much better at giving you like what it looks like and the detailing. How cool is that key, guys? Right? I mean, we're going to have to dig in for the cheat sheet to see exactly what that is, but that is a really cool key. Um, I don't know what it is or what it pertains to. It just has a pizza. It says PS. I'm trying to think back to like potions. Potions. I don't know. How do I open this? <gasps> Guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. I love this so much. This is so cool. Okay. Let me show you why. This is our ever so amazing Professor Snape. Maybe that's what PS stands for, Professor Snape. But this is a pin, a very high quality pin at that, of Mr. Professor Severus Snape. Look at that quality. It's just absolutely incredible, you guys. Like, the quality of it. It's like an actual picture frame and just beautiful, beautiful insane i mean it's got two um ways to adhere it i don't know what the proper term i'm using um oh okay this has to go with something that's in a box because we have a tea candle light here um so this definitely goes with something i'm really excited to see what it goes with but this is one white tea candle so let's see, it's gotta go with something in a box. Let's, let's try this box. What's in the brown box? I do not know. Um, let's figure it out, let's see. 
I'm gonna be so stoked if it's what I think it is. What if it's one like this, guys? Because I have one that looks like this. This is a tea candle, like an oil burning, an oil burning, an oil burner that's like a cauldron that I had from like another shop that I got. Um, so what if it's that? I'm gonna be stoked if I got another one. I'll have a matching set. Okay, that was really messy of me to do that. But I can't get it out otherwise. Okay, 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 okay. It looks like it is. It looks like it is. You'll see in the other view why I'm having such a difficult time. Um, the styrofoam is all breaking up. But we have this a black hangy thingy. Ta-da! one which is like i thought for the tea light so it's got to be an oil burner and i believe it is like i said guys this one's better than the one i have oh my gosh it's so much bigger i'm in love <gasps> it's totally an oil burner guys okay wait let me clean this up one sec guys it is totally an oil burner so how this works is you hang it like so which i'm going to show in this camera view because it's better you hang it like so you like the tea light at the bottom and you can put whatever oil you want you can put wax melts in here as well and you like the candle underneath and it will burn whatever is hanging in here super awesome i actually have one that looks very very similar that's way smaller let me just show you the one that I currently have. This is the one that I already have. It's way smaller, as you can see. And this is the one that I just got in the Wizarding Trunk one, and it's way larger. The problem with this one is that this cauldron thing is so tiny, it's hard to put stuff inside and take it out. So I absolutely love how much bigger this particular little cauldron is so cute i love it so so much what i recommend you guys is if you guys are going to use this um because it's so difficult to like clean out the inside when you're mixing oils or wax melts and things like that i recommend you guys getting these little cup things where are they i think i have them somewhere um okay anyways in this view i will show it to you see how in here i have a little cup like it looks like a little um, cupcake holder, except it's specifically made to hold wax melts. And that way you just pop it in there, put whatever wax melts or even oil in there. It'll hold it in there so that you don't need to um, constantly like clean it out. You can just pull that paper out and it's actually more of like a thicker consistency so that it doesn't like get all over everything. And you can just pull it out and throw it out. That way you don't have scents mixing and it won't get all funky super cute i absolutely love this you guys um definitely probably one of my favorite items in the box so far so let's keep it moving okay let's go for this brass scale warwick's premium pioneer equipment another thing i really love about the wizarding trunk is that they take the time to actually put effort into what it is that they package you know they're packaging in each item they take the time to you know put the details in it and it's just absolutely incredible um so let's take a look at what's in here it's actually a very sturdy thick box um not like really flimsy at all so guys this is even hard to open all right i'm back y'all okay we have these little gold pieces here i'm gonna pop that there uh oh my gosh cute this is a little gold thing not really sure i'm assuming it's a scale because that's what it says on the outside of the box so let's put this together and see i mean i think i did it right ta-da i did it without instructions so i'm pretty sure i did it it looks right this looks super cool um i am a libra moon so this is totally making me very happy right now especially when i can display this um on my desk when i do readings and stuff like that i am very happy with this so cute um i love it so 
comes with little golden weights, by the way. And that's what these little things down here are. These little weights that are displayed right over here. Um, which, yeah, guys, super awesome. So I guess you, whoa, do that like that. Tip the scales of justice, if you will. There we go. Let me get more even-ish. Of course, I'm holding it in the air, so it's not that even. I mean, it's going to. But the scale is super cool, you guys. I love it um, a lot. Hopefully, that's still in view. Okay. And that is Warwick's brass scale. Super cool. Also dropped rubbish on the ground. Super duper cool. I love that so much. Um, let's go ahead and open the next thing here. This is Black Lace Wing Flies. Pure Blood Apothecary. Again, so much detail goes into their packaging. You can hear something moving around. Purest potions. Only the purest potions. Super awesome. I absolutely, again, love, love, love the detailing that goes into the box. Super high quality. Very sturdy. Some ASMR in there. Okay, let's open this bad boy up. If I can, gosh. Cool, they look so realistic. That's crazy. They're literally just little flies um, in the box and they look super realistic. They feel real, which is kind of scary, but um, there you have it, guys. Wow. It feels real. It's kind of weird to hold it in my hand. Um, wow. Can you guys see that? That's so cool. Super cool. In the detailing. Look how realistic. You get one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight flies. That's incredible. This is like very much a display piece, you guys. So cool. Again, the detailing is incredible. Let's open this one. Next, we have Bone Regin. Gallipots. Prescription Apothecary. Ingredients. What does that say? Mandragora, mandragora leaves. Excuse me. Okay, ingredients. Mandragora leaves. Parachute something. Black lace wing flies. Golden glow seeds. Tangled golden glow seeds. I can't read that. Powdered human bone. And giant spider venom. Wow. This is so cool. I'm excited to see what this is. Um, here we go. There's the box, guys. Again, packaging, incredible display piece. Um, so let's just open this bad boy up. So I'm babbling way too long. It's going to be a messy one, so hold tight. I'm in love. This is incredible. And let me just show you why. What? Look at that. I mean, if I could tell you how cool this feels to hold in my hand right now, it feels so legit. Um, what? Bone regen. Got it. Why did I say red? Regen? Bone regen. This is like Skelligro, guys. This is Skelligro. <gasps> awesome. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Definitely got to be my favorite piece thus far in the box. This did not disappoint. Does this open? No, it does not. 
but it's super super cool i absolutely love this oh my gosh did not disappoint did not disappoint um do i want to open that next or this next let's open this next because we can see it and it's been calling my name um here we have cal what does that say calming draggart number two alchemy this is cool another really really cool potion type bottle it's more dry type of potion but it's still super cool and nonetheless i absolutely love 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 it again the details on the packaging the labeling is incredible i love even what's inside incredible how it looks and then the of course the cork seal incredible job i mean they always do an amazing job when it comes to their potions um gotta be my favorites to be completely honest um a last box you guys let's dive in i feel like i'm taking forever to do this unboxing oh i dropped something and it's green could this be polyjuice Let's find out. Okay. Ooh. <gasps> What's in here? It's a satchel. Okay. And we also have. <gasps> no way. Guys. Oh my gosh. I'm stoked. We are going to make our own. Are you serious? We can make our own. This is like, essentially we're making Gilly weed. Guys, this is Gilly, it says Gilly tonic in aid and other, in an aid to underwater breathing. You guys know in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, he uses Gilly weed to breathe underwater and grow gills. Oh my gosh, look at the bottle. Like, seriously, I love it so much. So you have to stick on the label yourself. I'm gonna have to read because there's um, some directions that come in here, but we're not done opening what's in here. So that's just the bottle, the green stuff as well. In this satchel, there's something, which I wanna get at. What is it? I can't see. It's, oh, it's like gillyweed. It's, oh my God. And uh oh, are they like shells or rocks? I don't want to take them all out because I'm gonna make a mess, guys. I think they're like little rocks. I don't think I can show it on this camera, but it's incredible. Okay, there's something else. Oh no, just kidding. It's just a rock. Okay. <gasps> so cool, guys. I will have to make this with you in a short. That's super cool. Making Gilly Weed. Super, super cool. So we have here. We, this is the instructions. So cool. Preparation of Gilly Tonic. So we have, when brewed properly, this tonic will allow you to breathe underwater for a limited amount of time. Ingredients. Stones collected from the body of water you intend to swim in. Two pieces of magical water plant, aka gillyweed. Water collected from the body of water you intend to swim in. 10 milliliters infusion of wormwood super super cool and of course this doubles as the little cheat sheet and has the list of things that are in it we also have a couple of extra things in here as well that i want to go over with you guys we have preparation of wolfsbane potion oh my gosh which did i miss that or oh my box is empty the wolfsbane potion is an extremely difficult to brew and advanced potion which relieves the symptoms of werewolfism or lycanthropy one dose must be taken each day of the week leading up to the full moon 
standard size cast iron cauldron, six fluid ounce beaker, knife, stirring rod, mortar, and pestle. So cool how it has all of these details. Absolutely incredible. And then of course, the back has the perfect potion, how to heat it. I love it so much. Um, and then of course we have this artwork of potions class right here. Absolutely amazing. And the cheat sheet. So of course we saw the shirt and then we have the cauldron wax warmer armadillo bile wax melts which are let me move this out way one sec guys now this makes sense to me sort of so we have the shirt and we have this cauldron wax melt warmer and this goes inside so that we can melt wax with the cauldron of course then we have the portrait pin which of course is our potions master professor snape doing a little recap here we also have the porsche portion the potion storeroom key which allows us access to the potion master's private storeroom that is so cool um and i can't pick it up for him so this is the key to the potion storeroom. Got it. Love that. Potion class prints, which is in the box. Wolfsbane recipe, black lace wig flies, which are in this box here. So we have the flies here. Um, the bone regen potion which again one of my favorites in the box we have this draw of living death pin gillyweed tonic potion kit this is probably another one of my favorites because we get to make our own potion together and that's really awesome i'm excited to do this with you guys and it'll be so much fun we can do it together and then we also have the vintage brass scale super duper cool to have this in my collection as well and yeah it's just gonna be so much fun guys seriously and then of course we have this is a calming draught potion which is actually usable apparently this is a mixture of pink Himalayan salt, hibiscus, lavender, sea salt, rose petals, and calendula flowers, making it a calming bath. And it looks great as well. So this is super cool. It's actually usable. Will I actually use it though? I'm not sure, to be honest with you, just because I want to keep it as a display item. It smells really great. I can smell the calendula and the lavender. And it's so cute. I absolutely love this so much. Absolutely love it. Um, guys, I can't pick a favorite. This is difficult um, because I love so many of the items on here in this box. And it's just been incredible to open so many of these. Um, how do I pick a favorite? It's got to be between the potion. Oh, I can't pick. I love the potions, period. I mean all the potions making the potion it's got to be making it my number one is got to be the gillyweed the gilly tonic excuse me being able to make it has to be my number one number two would be this bone regen it's just so cute um absolutely amazing and the details into that bottle then it would be a tie between the cauldron and the scales um i really do love this so much as well um because i'm a sucker for potion display items i might even use this in the bath one day who knows but uh it's just i, I loved this box so so much you guys um incredible if you're able to snag it i'm not sure i have not checked their website if they have extras a lot of times when they do have extras you can go ahead and purchase it from their website so if they do have extras 
I highly suggest going to grab this box if you are the type of person who likes potion type of things, um, displaying items, that this is incredible, you guys. Um, by the way, this particular tiny little wax melt burner thing that I got from um, my local, a local shop was like $20. So this one is a million times bigger than the one that I already had. And that was in this box so it's already w well worth it uh, and then you have these scales t-shirt that's t-shirts are usually 20 bucks at least um, and this is a quality shirt it's soft it's really amazing um, I, I mean I, I love I love the wizarding trunk honestly um, I would say my least favorite item in the box I don't even know if I can pick one Usually I, I have to say it's a pin, but I love both pins. Um, I love the potions pin. It's really awesome. I love the Snape pin. I, if I had to pick a least favorite item, guys, it would have to be the flies. Uh, yeah, it would have to be the flies for me. Um, I still think it's a super cool item, but what am I going to do with them? Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But do I hate them? No, I think they're really cool. Uh, honestly, I think they're really cool. I think they're such a cool display item. I think I might just, I might put it in another clear bottle and figure out something to do with them. I don't know. I might use them in a reading, something like that. So I have, I, I'm just, I love this box. It was, it was, it was awesome. Um, 10 out of 10 for me. So that's what I have to say about it. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And of course, bringing you more content of this kind of stuff. I love unboxing Harry Potter stuff. You guys know I'm a Potterhead. I love Wizarding World stuff. So this was super fun. You guys are going to see a lot of these things in my videos and readings. So yeah, I love sharing my love of the Wizarding World with you guys. And you guys see all this stuff in my videos anyway. So I might as well share the unboxing with you. And so, yeah, if you guys liked it, go ahead and check out the Wizarding Trunk. I will drop their link down below. Again, this is my 100% real opinion. I am not sponsored or affiliated, although I wish I was. Um, but yeah, I, I love them. And so always my 100% uh, authentic opinion guys and yeah if you guys liked it go ahead and smash the like button comment down below if you're a potterhead like me if you guys liked all of these things what was your favorite item what was your least favorite item out of this box and yeah let me know i'd love to hear it all and don't forget to subscribe hit the little bell notification so you don't miss a beat and i will see you guys very very soon also i am dropping my patreon link down below in case you're interested in joining our magical family over there where we have exclusive content and weekly energy readings not available here on youtube i'm going to start posting more potter content more wizarding content and trying to incorporate more of me into all of these things so yeah, keep a lookout for that. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a magical day or night whenever you guys are seeing this. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!